Hello, welcome to the vicarage of St. Luke's Church, Eccleshill, for our service of morning prayer this morning. In order to take part in it, you'll need to have a Bible of your own so you can read the Word of God in your own comfort, at your own speed, and you can pause and think about what it means for you. And there will be pauses in the video uh, where you can do that, so you'll need to have the video remote so that you can put me on hold for a while. We need to have the inspiration of God the Holy Spirit in our hearts and on our lips. And so our service begins with that plea to our God. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let us worship the Lord in song. Let us express our love and adoration of him. I worship you. Almighty God, there is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is what I love to do. I give you praise, for you are my The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Each morning and each evening the Church of England sets psalms so that we can use them uh, in approaching God, in reflecting on them, in expressing to God how we might feel. Here's a metrical version, a sung version of one of the psalms for today. Oh, 
but I'm sure, and I tell your righteousness, and I praise you more and more, for your love is measureless, I will tell your mercies to the young, your might to children still to come. In you, O Lord, I'm whole, many troubles I may feel, yet in bitterness of soul, I have found you sure to heal, from the deepest depths of my despair, you bring me up and show your care. I praise you God in song, and your glories I will tell, for your faithful, sure and strong, Holy One of Israel. Those who wished me harm have not prevailed, and your strong arm has never failed. And you might like to pause the video and look up the book of Psalms and read the appointed scriptures for yourself in your own Bible. Our service has an Old Testament and a New Testament reading. The Old Testament one focuses on the book of Genesis and we're looking at the story of the life of Abraham's children. Please pause the video and read the appointed part of Genesis for today. Here's the Old Testament canticle set as a way of responding to the Old Testament reading. And here's a sung version of it. In the New Testament, we're looking at the pastoral epistles, the letters of Paul to Timothy and Titus. Please pause the video and read the appointed part of Scripture in your own Bible. I generally try to respond to the New Testament reading with an appropriate hymn, if I can, uh, so here's one uh, which struck me as fitting in with today's Bible passage. Run, 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 there's a race to be run, there's a prize to be won at the end, so run for the prize, you can win if your eyes are on Jesus, your trainer and friend, in a race they all train for a crown that will fade, and their fitness will soon pass away, but in Christ we will reign for a kingdom that's made to endure beyond us little day, so run, 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 there's a race to be run, there's a prize to be 
be won at the end. So run for the prize you can win if your eyes are on Jesus, your trainer and friend. See the crowd all around who are cheering you on. Fell the saints who have proved God is true. Get your feet on the ground, set your eyes on the one who went to to be won at the end so run for the prize you can win if your eyes are on Jesus your trainer and friend at the end of the race there's a victory crown for the ones who have fought the good fight and the judge in his grace with the saints gathered round will award it with trumpets and light so run 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 there's a race to be run there's a prize to be won at the end you can win if your eyes are on Jesus, your trainer and friend. So let us pray, let us put before God the concerns of our hearts and let's respond to him uh, in the way that we express our needs. Please pause the video and use the time for praying. The Collect for this week, the week after the second Sunday before Lent. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us now and evermore. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.